Hi, my name is Jimmy Questenberry, and I'm the head of school here at Hickory Grove Christian School. Today, we open the doors wide to you to a private, Christ-centered school to a message that is of gospel centrality. It is not old, it is timeless. This school is a rare blend of a diverse culture of biblically-minded people that are bent on sharing the gospel message with the world that is in dire need of that message. This is a place where you can be challenged by the rigor, stimulated by the discourse, prepared for the future, and offered the opportunity to be introduced to the Savior. If you're looking for a unique, Christ-centered, gospel-centered message in a school of high academic standing, then Hickory Grove Christian School is the place for you. Well, hello and welcome to Hickory Grove Christian School. I am Dr. Mildred Simulton and I serve here as the Administrator for Student Services. And it is my pleasure to be involved with students' lives here at the school in a number of different capacities. Why is Hickory Grove a great place for your family? Now, I have not encountered one adult here who really doesn't understand the value of a Christian education. Um, our leaders here in the school have a heart for the Lord and because of that level of accountability you can ensure that although we are not perfect individuals you can ensure that we will um, do our best to serve you and your children well. Um, we want to be sure that their needs are met academically, that their needs are met spiritually of course, and that their socio-emotional needs are met as well. Um, so we certainly do trust that the Lord is working through our school in every aspect of who we are and what we do and invite you to continue to explore the possibility of partnering with us. Again, thank you so much for your visit. Hello everyone and welcome to Hickory Grove Christian School. I'm Larry Stinson and I'm the elementary and middle school principal here. I've been here for about a year and a half and really have enjoyed my time here. In our elementary school right now, we have several things going on. We have a Spanish immersion program that some of you prospective kindergarten parents may be totally interested in. We have a new gifted program referred to as the ACES. ACES means academics, creativity, education, and spirituality. So we are very excited about those programs. In the middle school, we've begun discipleship groups. We think that the most important thing we do here is seek to draw our young people closer to a relationship with Jesus Christ. Every day is a very exciting day here. It thrills my soul to be able to walk around and see the young and the middle-aged trying to do their very best in a Christian environment. I'll be available throughout the evening. If you have any questions, please come by and I will be more than happy to address any of the issues that you have as you consider Hickory Grove as, your, as the school of choice for your child. Have a great evening. Hello, my name is Adam Hamilton. I serve here as the high school principal. Just want to give you a quick overview of what we're doing here in the high school. We are a distinctively Christian high school. We place the Lord Jesus above all else, above all academics, but we also value academics here. We have a rigorous AP program. We have 16 AP classes. We offer the AP capstone program, also the AP research program. We have a fully functioning aquaponics lab, chemistry labs, biology labs, everything that your student would need to succeed here in high school. I'm available to answer any questions you may have regarding our high school program. Thank you for coming and I look forward to speaking with you. My name is Jim Rhodes and I'm the athletic director here at Hickory Grove Christian School. We have a lot of things going on in athletics that we're excited about and I want to tell you about them. We field over 30 different sports teams through 12 different sports. We compete in the Metrolina Athletic Conference and the NCISAA. We offer competitive and successful programs as you can see from the banners behind me. And the thing that I think really sets us apart are our Christian coaches. Our Christian coaches are going to coach not only the skills and the strategy in the sport, but they're going to teach the athletes how to be disciples of Christ and how to use their sport to glorify Christ in competition and in practice. I love Hickory Grove. It's my home. My wife is here on staff. All three of my kids go to school here. I cannot recommend this school enough. Thanks for coming. I hope to see you guys in the hallways at Hickory Grove. My name is Missy Smith and I have the privilege to serve Hickory Grove Christian School as the Director of the International Student Program. If you walk our halls, you will certainly run into one of our 15 international students. They come from eight different countries and three different continents. These students bring a global insight to our school and provide new conversations about the world we live in. 
We invite them also to learn to see new things about this world through the introduction of learning the Bible and hearing about God's love and His gift to us in Jesus Christ. Our faculty encourages them daily and our host families are the heart of our program who provide a home away from home. If you would like to partner with us in hosting an international student, please let us know. Hi, my name is Tracy Bennett and I serve as the High School Guidance Counselor here at Hickory Grove Christian School. I have the great privilege of coming alongside students as they select their courses and prepare for college. I also am able to help them with all the other things that come up throughout their high school years. I also spend time with our students as they face successes, challenges, and struggles along the way. We're able to offer our students honors courses, AP courses, and even dual enrollment. We help prepare our students for the ACT, the PSAT, and the SAT through a college and career solutions program called Naudiance. Our students also participate in weekly guidance lunches where they're advised by teachers and given skills to succeed not only in the classroom but in the future. In addition, students will have a better understanding of themselves as they complete strengths assessments which help them figure out who they are as learners and help them in their educational endeavors. My greatest desire is for our students to discover what they're passionate about and recognize their calling. I believe I believe we've been successful as a school when we see our students living out their calling and pursuing a life devoted to Christ. There really is no other place I would rather invest my time each day than right here at Hickory Grove Christian School. My name is Andrew Stover and I work with the Student Center for Advancement here at Hickory Grove Christian School. And what our program does is we service students who have educational needs, if they have an IEP or a 504. We do testing accommodations and we do one-on-one you know, -on -one and small group instruction. And really the goal of the program is just to support students who need a little bit extra help and help them to reach their full educational potential. I can't recommend Hickory Grove enough. Uh, my wife and I both work here and all four of our kids attend here as students. And uh, it's just a gospel-centered place that we are excited to be a part of. My name is Andrea Duelli and I'm the ACES teacher for third through fifth grade. I've been teaching 10 years and love helping our students become innovative thinkers through our ACES program. ACES stands for academics, creativity, excellence, and spirituality. Through this program, our students have the opportunity to use their critical thinking skills, create models that show their thinking, and exercise both sides of the brain. And of course, we keep Christ centered in all that we do. We'd love to have you as a part of our family here at Hickory Grove. Hello, my name is Becca Turner and I teach American Sign Language here at Hickory Grove. Hickory Grove started a sign language program in 2016. This program allows students to learn American Sign Language as well as learning about deaf culture. There are many different avenues in which students practice their sign language skills in class. These include games, performances, and many different vocabulary activities. Each semester the ASL class learns a song in sign language. The students perform this song at chapel. I'm very excited to see this program continue to grow and more students learn the beautiful language of ASL. Hola, yo soy la señora Brooks y yo enseño español aquí en Hickory Grove. Hello, my name is Ashley Books, and I've been teaching Spanish here at Hickory Grove for the last five years. Our foreign language program here at Hickory Grove is a proficiency-based program, meaning that the goal is for students to become proficient in the language um, instead of memorizing isolated vocabulary and grammar rules. We want them to learn the language in context, more like you learn your first language. Our department offers Spanish 1 starting in middle school all the way through AP Spanish in high school, so there's plenty of opportunity for our students to become proficient in Spanish, if not fluent, by the time they graduate high school. We put great emphasis on foreign language at Hickory Grove, as is shown through our language immersion program and the extensive levels of Spanish that we offer in high school. Um, the reason for this is because we think it's a very tangible and practical way uh, for students to be prepared to be sent out and make disciples of all nations, which is our main goal here at Hickory Grove. My name is Lori Chevron and I'm a first grade teacher at Hickory Grove Christian School where we experience the joy of Jesus and the love of learning every single day. God has a special plan for each of our children. And it is our privilege 
to lead our children closer to God each day as we teach them how to read, write, add, and subtract. The primary years of education are the foundation spiritually and educationally. This is when your children learn how to read, how to write, they learn how to problem solve, and it's wonderful to be able to do that bathed in Christian education with Jesus Christ as the core. It is our goal as educators in the primary grades of Hickory Grove Christian School to lead your child closer to God, to establish lifelong learners in their hearts and followers of Jesus Christ. Hi, my name is Teresa Russell. I've been a fifth grade math and science teacher at Hickory Grove for the past 12 years. In fifth grade, our students have the opportunity to experience a balanced curriculum that involves spiritual growth, academic excellence, and service to others. Our Bible classes emphasize servanthood and a growing personal relationship with Jesus Christ, which is most important. Our smaller biblically integrated classes allow for better opportunities for individualized instruction. We incorporate hands-on learning with labs and technology. We offer fun field trips that complement our curriculum. One field trip in particular is our overnight field trip to Camp Thunderbird, where students experience an outdoor classroom. They get to learn about water and wildlife ecology. They get to canoe and learn about history as well. We're grateful for the opportunity to serve our local community. Fifth graders have the privilege of serving students from Metro School during our annual Grove Games. Once a month, we partner with a CMS school where our fourth and fifth graders serve as mentors and reading buddies for kindergarten classes. We also partner with Hickory Grove Baptist Church by helping out with a clothes closet and food pantry. We would welcome the opportunity to partner with you and teach your fifth grade students. Hi, I'm Lainey Corbett and I'm part of the History Department. We have several courses we offer here in our department, that being World History, U.S. History, AP U.S., AP Gov, AP Human Geography, and Government and Econ. Our department has probably 60 to 80 plus years experience between all the teachers and our students perform very well on the AP exams. We have a pass rate that's between 80 to 100% in those AP courses. The best thing about Hickory Grove, more than the academics, is being Christ-centered and centered on relationships. First, that relationship with Christ, but even more relationship with the students, the teachers, it, it's just one big family and a great place to work and a great place for students uh, to come as well. Hope to see you soon. Hello, my name is Heath Blackman. I teach middle school boys PE here and I also teach PE for the Early Education Center and I help with a few of the elementary PE classes as well. Uh, among teaching PE, I also help Dr. Quisenberry coach the varsity baseball team. This is my first year here at Hickory Grove and so far I've been blown away um, at the faculty and staff and how much they care for each student individually and how they seek to share the gospel in all their classes. Hope you guys enjoy the open house and thanks for being here. Hi, my name is Lynette Crow. I am the director of bands at Hickory Grove. I teach middle school classes as well as high school band classes. I also teach an advanced vocal studies class at the high school level. By starting them out in sixth grade, it's great we're not on an A-B schedule like many schools are. They get to meet every day. So by having that consistent daily routine, students are able to advance at a faster rate and become better musicians. Then they advance to the intermediate band when they are in seventh and eighth grade. At the high school level, we offer a concert band as well as a jazz band. We offer a praise band, we offer a chapel band, and we have a drum line. In the high school levels and the middle school levels as well, students are given the opportunity to audition for the all district band and the high school students are given an opportunity to participate in the UNCC honor band. What makes us stand out from other schools? I have taught in public school for many years and the biggest part for me 
is building those relationships with the students and getting to pray for those students. Thank you for coming to Open House. We hope that you will choose for your student to become a part of our Hickory Grove family. Hello, my name is Brandi Caton, and I get to teach a few things here at the school. It's my 15th year here being able to teach dance. In the dance program here, we focus on making sure that every student has a safe environment to be able to explore the art of dance. So I teach from the North Carolina course of study. We focus on making sure that they know the different elements of dance. And we want all of our performing arts students to be able to have the chance to perform. So at the end of each semester, we have concerts that we offer them to be able to do that. I also get to have an honors dance company this year um, that we started a few years back for the series state. So we definitely want to make sure that our students who have a passion for the arts get an opportunity to use that for the Lord. So the honors dance company in the middle school and high school performs in the chapels and at lunch performances for students. We try to go out in the community once a year to be able to perform in the Charlotte Dance Festival or certain things like that. I also get to do the student media classes. I'm our student media advisor for the school. Our students get a chance to learn how to do journalism, graphic design, and photojournalism to be able to produce the school's yearbook. And we cover TK through 12th grade. We also produce every year the Pride, which is our whole school news magazine. And we have an online blog for the high school students called On the Prep. I've loved teaching here at this school. Both of my children are here. Um, this is a very blessed place that I know God is a big part of, and I'm just excited to be able to provide these uh, different things for our students. Hi, my name is Abigail Robertson, and I teach a variety of performing arts classes here at Hickory Grove. I've been at Hickory Grove for five years. In the middle school, I teach choir and theater, as well as musical theater classes. In the high school, I teach honors choir, choir, honors theater, and musical theater, as well as a speech and debate course. Each of these performing arts classes gives students an opportunity to grow in their faith while displaying gifts and talents they have in the performing arts. I specifically enjoy helping students to find new talents and skills, and then aiding them in their development and eventually mastery of those skills. We have students who have used the performing arts to go on to performing arts careers and to study theater, choir, and many other areas in college. We also have students who are using these skills in their everyday careers. We find that performing arts is a vital tool to help your students succeed throughout their life. Hi, I'm Scott Mosier. I'm the uh, chair person of the science department here at Hickory Grove. In Hickory Grove Science, we have many exciting classes uh, that we offer. We offer principles of chemistry and physics, biology one, chemistry one, and AP level classes such as AP environmental, AP biology, and AP chemistry. We also have a Science National Honor Society Club that students can get involved in with additional science experiments. The thing that's great about Hickory Grove uh, School and science is that the class sizes are small, which gives the students a lot of opportunity to have some one-on-one uh, -on -one experience with their teachers and many, many great lab experience time. My name is Billy Hutchinson and I am the chair of the Biblical Studies Department here at Hickory Grove Christian School. And we wanna thank you for coming to Open House and just give you some information about our Bible classes and why we teach them the way that we do. So ninth grade students will start with an overview of scripture, they'll look at the big picture and how all of the small stories fit into the grand narrative of creation, fall, restoration, and redemption. In 10th grade, they'll learn how to study scripture. In 11th grade, they'll have a systematic theology class in which they will learn the essential doctrines of the Christian faith. And in 12th grade, they'll have the option of taking either a survey of Western philosophy or an apologetics and ethics class. And with all of these courses, there's an honors level requirement that they can choose to take and get college credit with the partnership we have with the College at Southeastern. We found this to be very advantageous to our students as they're able to earn college credit for classes like philosophy, intro to religion, and various other liberal arts classes at these institutions. So we hope you'll join us here at Hickory Grove. Hi, my name is Billy Hutchinson and I teach both of our AP Capstone courses here at Hickory Grove Christian School. AP Capstone is a program offered by the College Board that instead of teaching specific uh, course content, students learn a skill set based upon evidence-based argumentation, writing, collaboration, presentation skills, and how to do research. 
And so in the first class, which is AP Seminar, students will work together as a team to solve real-world problems from, from various perspectives. And then in AP Research, they will do their own individual research to fill a gap in the body of knowledge about a particular topic that's currently available. Students are encouraged to find a topic that they are interested in from any discipline and look at it from a variety of perspectives, a way that would add to the current research in the field. Many students who take AP Research uh, go on to have their items published in academic journals, and they earn various amounts of college credits for this. So we hope that you'll take advantage of the AP Capstone program here at Hickory Grove Christian School, where we're one of less than a thousand schools nationwide to offer this program, and as of the 2018 academic year, one of only three private schools in the state of North Carolina. Hi, I'm Lucy Jennings, and I'm a senior here at Hickory Grove. I decided to participate in the AP Capstone program because it is such a prestigious and well-known um, AP program that is going to increase my resume and who I am as a student during my college applications. I learned how to synthesize data and other perspectives in my writing styles, especially in research, because I was able to look at perspectives from other um, research that is already out there and synthesize it, including other materials, into what I wanted to condone in my papers. I am researching the effectiveness of performance enhancing drugs, more specifically human growth hormones and gene doping which is genetically modifying an athlete's genes for, per for performance enhancement and I'm looking at which one will be better for athletes to increase their performance. Hi, I'm Imani Cherry and I'm a high school senior at Hickory Grove Christian School. I chose to participate in the AP Capstone program because I thought it would be something good on my applications and it would boost my GPA for college. Being part of AP Seminar taught me how to analyze varying perspectives on a topic, which makes me such a better researcher, whether it's in any AP class, whether it's in college, and it just prepares me to be a beneficial researcher and make sure that my research and whatever topic I'm discussing, I'm a credible writer. This year in AP Research, I decided to study true crime and its rise in popularity in, in, in the entertainment business and how it's affecting humor, human behavior issues. Hi, I'm Leanne Vinesett and I'm a senior here at Hickory Grove. I chose to participate in the AP Capstone program because it's the most prestigious program here at Hickory Grove and it's one of the only private schools in the nation that has the program. So when colleges are looking at me during the application process, I will immediately be moved to the top of the pile. The biggest skill set I learned in AP Seminar was how to work as part of a team. You're working with a diverse body of individuals with a lot of different perspectives and you have to learn not only how to be a leader, but also how to work with your team to synthesize one cohesive report. My AP Research Project takes fake news articles in the form of tweets and analyzes how Generation Z or high school age voters will respond to those when they are about presidential candidates so that one day we can see how they will vote in the future.